messed up. Asim Ghazi, I'm sensing and reacting to stress using wearables and non-invasive nerve stimulation. I want everyone to take a brief moment and think of four people in your life that you deeply care for. The unfortunate reality is that here in America, one of those four people will likely suffer from overwhelming episodes of stress due to an anxiety or trauma disorder that they face at some point in their life. One of the key challenges in dealing with these overwhelming stress episodes is that they take place outside the clinic. They take place outside the reach of a clinician or a therapist who would otherwise be able to sense and react to those changes to help reduce that stress response. Through my PhD research, I have devoted myself to understanding and designing technologies that can help us address this challenge. Technologies that can help us monitor an individual's levels of stress over time and if those levels of stress ever reach an undesirable state, reacting right then and there in real time to help dampen that stress response. So how would that work? Well, let's take the example of a patient with post-traumatic stress disorder going about their daily life. Simply walks into a room and all of a sudden smells something that triggers a traumatic memory. Within split seconds, their entire body goes through this full-blown stress response. Using wearables, we can actually pick up on some of those changes from the body. Changes in the way the heart is beating, changes in the way they're breathing, sweating, and so on. And using state-of-the-art AI tools, we can actually take that information and fuse it to try and infer what are the underlying changes in stress that are causing all of these changes that we can observe in the body. And once we have an estimate of that stress state, if we see that's behaving undesirably, we react right then and there in real time to help dampen the response. And so the intervention that I've been studying throughout the course of my PhD has been non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation, where we non-invasively stimulate a rest and digest nerve to help counteract the fight or flight response associated with stress. Some of the results of my research include demonstrating that non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation can reduce an individual's stress response within 10 to 15 seconds. And through collaborations with Emory University School of Medicine and Electricor Incorporated, we've actually been able to study this technology in patients with post-traumatic stress disorder. Our efforts just this past year led to FDA breakthrough designation for this technology, taking us one step closer to bringing this technology into the hands of those who need it most. Thank you.